What a wonderful musical introduction. Thank you. Madam President, distinguished guests, parents, friends, colleagues, and most important of all, our graduating students, welcome. It's wonderful to see you all here this morning at this first graduation ceremony of 2016. This year's graduation ceremonies are particularly special for me as they mark my first as director of the school. Graduation ceremonies are a joyous occasion, an opportunity for everyone to come together and celebrate the results of all that hard work. It's also a moment to reflect, to remember difficulties overcome, experiences shared, friendships formed, and support received and given. This is your graduation, an important moment to cherish, so please enjoy every single moment. I also want to give a special welcome to your friends and families. It's a wonderful opportunity to have you here for this celebration of achievement. Many of you have traveled a long way. It's worth it. They couldn't have done it without your love and support. And it's important that you are here to share this time. For those of you who are unable to be with us, I'm delighted to tell you that we are live streaming the ceremony around the world. I remember my own experience of a SOAS graduation. It was like no other I had ever attended, or indeed any that I've been to since. So as graduation ceremonies really are special. Like others, they are charged with emotion and full of pride. But they also have that special so as something. That so as spirit, which is difficult to describe in a few words, but which you will experience today. I hope you will see that the world really does meet at SOAS. That's what makes us unique. It's an honor and privilege to introduce to you the president of SOAS, <coughs> Dame Grasha Michelle, and to welcome her to our 2016 graduation ceremonies. Dame Grasha is an extremely distinguished figure on the world stage. A tireless advocate and campaigner whose work has driven social and political change. She is passionate about achieving social justice and equality in our world and is a global advocate for the rights of women and children. Her work spans education, health, conflict resolution, leadership and development. She doesn't shy away from tackling tough issues. She has enormous courage and as an elder, she is part of a group of former world leaders who use their wisdom and influence to help to try to resolve some of the world's toughest challenges, such as the conflicts in uh, Sudan and South Sudan and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Dame Grasha has gained international recognition, which includes numerous awards for her extraordinary work. In 1997, she was made a British Dame in recognition of her humanitarian efforts. It's difficult to comprehend, let alone summarize, the scale of our president's achievements. As Mozambique's Minister of Education and Culture, Dame Grasha introduced a national education system. She co-founded the Forum of African Women Educationalists, a network which has had a profound impact on girls' education and empowerment in, the, in Africa. Her work for the United Nations on the impact of armed conflict on children led to the establishment of a global agenda to protect children's rights. Without her work, many of the things we take for granted today would not have happened. Hers is a powerful voice for change, and she's looked to for leadership on the big questions facing us on the African continent and beyond. Her work has great resonance with SOAS. Her values reflect the SOAS values. Her foundation, the Grasha Michelle Trust, promotes women's rights, children's rights, 
democracy and governance, all areas that are the subject of research of many of our academic colleagues. And appropriately for SOAS, she speaks seven languages. Dame Grasher, our president and sister to so many around the world, we're extremely honored to have you with us at the high point of our year as we celebrate the achievements of our students. Welcome. <laughs> 